So you've been diagnosed with bipolar two. Yes, which is the that's the 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 easier sort of bipolar from what I might have heard. I, no, so no. you've had a competitive conversation with someone oh, who's bipolar yes. one. Oh, bipolar <laughs> two. Well, that must be a nice holiday. So you've never had psychosis. I was told to murder by my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. So, uh, and you've been in several psych wards. You talk uh, about that in the book. Just two different ones. Glendale Adventist Psychiatric uh, Medical Center. I was in uh, West, Psych West. Um, and then uh, I was at the Last Encinas, still in business. Do not recommend it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you just gave them a bad Yelp review. Well, no, no. I never give bad reviews. Okay. I always feel like you everyone's having a hard enough time. Okay. Uh, well, mm-hmm. here's the thing. The psychiatrist there, who has since retired, uh, he, he, when I went in, because, yeah, I got to see a psychiatrist, which is amazing. And he not only... Uh, he Googled me during the session, but then oh. played some of my act back oh, to me no. and said, oh, you're pretty funny. Unless I say I'm Richard Pryor, you know, like, I'm, and wait until I've left. You know, if if I'm having some sort of uh, experience where I think I'm somebody else, and <laughs> just assume, well, may, maybe she's a comedian. Like, <laughs> like maybe she's, right. like, because I think I, I said I was a comedian, which is always a terrible idea. Uh, to say in in a uh, hospital circumstance, but I uh, isn't the first thing you get. Tell me a joke. Uh, yes, yes, or where have I seen you? Or you know, and all jobs have that sort of thing. You know, uh, I know I've, I've heard people say, if you know, you I'm an administrative assistant. Uh, oh, like you know, <laughs> sometimes you don't get any questions, right? And you have a lot to say. <laughs> so when you go to these places. And you're in that state. Are you ever thinking about comedy or looking around and thinking? No, no, no. I mean, if you're having a, a, a emergency event for any sort of whether that's a physical or a mental uh, issue, you're not. Th- yeah, no, no. You're in a completely altered state. Yeah, just. Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to. I wanted to die. Mm. I was not feeling good. Yes, yeah, so no, it's like uh, something's broken, or yeah, you don't go. <laughs> you know this pain. <laughs> I don't. Somebody take notes on this. I mean, maybe you are. Uh, I, I worry know. that I would, but I'm. <laughs> I'm deeply. <laughs> like, how could I use this? But I, I, the pain you're describing, to be honest with you, is a pain I have not felt. Right. So yeah. I cannot relate. Yeah, I hadn't. And I hadn't felt that either. I don't think I had felt uh, that, uh, you know, of just like your brain. You, I wasn't not there. I wasn't there. Mm. And that feeling of like, oh, I there's no me here. And um, yeah, I just did not like every moment was excruciating. I was so mm. grateful when they came around with the meds. I was just like, oh, my God, knock me out with a... a a hammer and um mm-hmm. they don't do that anymore that was the 60s um but <laughs> that, that, yeah that, that ended with the three stooges <laughs> <laughs> but that was really nice like um jonathan winters uh, he I, I got to talk jonathan to jonathan winters obviously and we, we have younger listeners but jonathan winters was if you asked anybody from about i want to say 1958 you know, for decades after that, who's the funniest person in the world? I think maybe seven out of 10 times you you might hear Jonathan Winters. He was absolutely hilarious. He'd go on The Tonight Show. He was in movies. He was just, he was, he was so funny. He'd take the air out of the room. And uh, he had, what a lot of people didn't know is that he had, I think, flown bombing missions in World War II and had seen a lot of horrible things, and then uh, had terrible problems with depression, and I think uh, had to, uh, you know, either go away or be be taken away at at times. So he was someone who, that's so cool. I mean, I never got the chance to meet Jonathan Winters, which is a regret of mine. I saw him in a hotel lobby once, and I was too intimidated to go up to him. And this is when I was on TV, but right. I just thought, well, he doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> oh, but I, I wish I had talked to him. Yes. But but um, he was someone who, like you, really knew a comedian who was breathtakingly funny, but also knew this crazy deep 
Yeah, pain. he had had, I, I think, a few psychotic episodes. And in the 60s, I think they would just, uh, everyone was just, there was just a big jar of Allium. Mm-hmm. And then they would they'd just numb you out. And he was there for months. Um, but my friend, um, yeah, it, my, I have a friend who's friends of his. And I was so out of it. I was just like, he's like, I'm calling Jonathan. He'll tell you it's going to be okay. And I'm like, okay. Oh, God. Ah. I could barely talk, but he was like, well, you have a good shrink. I said, well, yeah. I said, well, you know, just keep going. All I can do is keep going, which is really the only advice anyone can give you. Uh, it's at also any time that generation, life. Depression era, World War II, yeah, fighter going. pilot. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which sometimes is the right advice to get, like pull yourself together and keep going. Well, and I think that, that the experience of uh, like a suicidal depression really has given me empathy for people in my life who have committed suicide. Mm. Uh, I think there's uh, there's tremendous guilt, but also sometimes people are angry at people who committed suicide and um that you just don't know the level of suffering right, someone right. has experienced. And uh <laughs> Anyways, it, it, I don't know why I'm laughing. That's inappropriate. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that makes you kind of a monster, I think. Well, ouch. Yeah. Uh, ouch. Ouch, ouch is not the appropriate response to me calling you a monster. <laughs> Hitler, you're a monster. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> Stalin, you're Satan. Oh, oh hey. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> Ooh. Spicy. <laughs>